This, this is the lab. In this video, we're going to explore Da Lat. Da Lat, the capital of Lam Dong province in southern Vietnam's central highlands. Surrounded by hills, pine forests, lakes, and waterfalls, the city is located 1,500 meters above sea level. So it is a refreshingly cool climate here. They are known as the city of eternal spring. Da Lat was developed as a resort by the French in the early 1900s. And the city's rich history is reflected in its colonial architecture, a beautiful blend of French influence and Vietnamese charm. We are staying at Terracotta Hotel and Resort. The resort is located outside the city center. It only takes 10 minutes to go to the city center with a car. They serve buffet-style breakfast with both cold and warm food. They also have a noodle station. For variation, they serve different types of noodles every day. Sun Hung Lake is located in the center of the Lab city and is a man-made lake. Sun Hung Lake was just a large marsh land. Recognizing the prime location and development potential of this area, the French colonial government at the time arranged the construction of the lake in 1919. Nowadays, visitors can enjoy strolling along the lakeside or pedal boating on a swan boat. Lam Vin Square is another famous landmark in Dalat. First you will notice is the two unique buildings. One shape has an artichoke flower bud, and in the center there's a giant wild sunflower building. And beneath the square is restaurant, shopping mall, and grocery store. Another famous attraction in Dalat is the Crazy House. The Crazy House in Dalat is a whimsical structure designed by Dan Vinh Nghe, a Soviet-trained Vietnamese architect back in 1990. It's actually called Hang Nghe Guest House and Art Gallery but travelers and locals refer it as a crazy house because of its bizarre concept, tree-like shape. The Dalat Flower Gardens can be found in the northern side of Sun Hu Lake, covering an area of 7,000 square meters. As Dalat is well known for its variety of colorful flowers and plant species, the park is one of the town's most popular attractions. To be honest, both of us was not impressed at all, this place was kinda boring. Maybe we travel off season and all of the flowers and plants hasn't bloomed yet. Kokuru Cafe is known as Little Japan in the heart of Dalat, and is located in Lafong tourist area, only 5 minutes drive from Dalat center.
The Lab Night Market is one of the most popular attractions and is situated right in the center of the Lab on Nguyen Thi Minh Khai Street. Food is for many the biggest reason to come to the Dalat Night Market. Some of the typical and most popular Dalat dishes are Dalat pizza, banh mi, rice noodles, and fresh soy milk. This is banh chang nu or Vietnamese pizza. A crispy rice paper with eggs, topping like sausage or dry beef, and a tangy sauce. This was 10 out of 10. Wifey wanted to try out Ban Bao, which is a steamed bun with meat filling inside. Wifey gave it 8 out of 10. And of course, we have to try Ban Mi Siu Mai, which is basically Vietnamese meatball in tomato sauce in a baguette. It was okay, so we rate it 6 out of 10. So we decided to try some of the soups. I went for Bun Ba Hue, which is a spicy beef and pork noodle soup. Not the best I tried, but my rating is 6 out of 10. Why we went for Bun Ryu, which is a pork and crab with tomato noodle soup. And she liked it very much and her rating is 10 out of 10. We want to try some of the desserts and the first we found is Ban Tiêu, which is a Vietnamese hollow puffy donut coated with sesame seeds. Why we ranked them 8 out of 10. Yo Lak or Shaking strawberries is just strawberry that is sprinkled with sugar, salt, chili, and maybe sometimes condensed milk. And shaken well. We found the salt and sugar combination a bit odd with strawberries, so we rate this 4 out of 10. Our last dessert, gamba or avocado ice cream. Nothing too fancy, just fresh avocado mixed with unsweetened milk, condensed milk, coconut or vanilla ice cream, and sprinkled with dry coconut on top. We went with vanilla ice cream and it tasted so good. Our rating, 10 out of 10. We were disappointed with the flower garden yesterday, so we decided to visit another garden. The Tan La waterfalls are among the most visited attractions in the Lat, where you can enjoy plenty of activities. You can hike up to the hills and swim in the clear water, but the highlight here is the Alpine Coaster Ride, so you can enjoy trailing right up and down towards the base of the Tan La waterfalls. Since we had baby sky with us, we have to walk. Our taxi took us to the top, so we have to just walk downhill. I think we used 10-15 minutes to the waterfall. We were allowed to use the Alpine Coaster ride back to the top since it was a slow ride up.
Just outside of Dalat city, you find a known attraction. The Lat Clay Tunnel is known for its sculpture park where each model has been handcrafted from clay. But this felt more like a tourist trap. There's a lot of amazing sculpture for you to take picture and that's it. The main attraction is the image where two persons facing each other. And it's a popular photo spot for Instagram. It's our last day in the land and we just want to take a relaxing evening. So we ordered food from Grab. Bánh hỏi thịt heo quay. It's 4.30 in the morning and we're heading to Dafu, hopefully to chase some clouds. I decided to cloud hunt on our last day in Dalat and I went for Dafu Hill in Ward 7, about 10 km from the town center. And my hope was to see and enjoy the view of endless cloudy sky. The easiest way to travel to Dafu Hill is to go to Luk Afu Temple since it's right at the foot of the hill. From there you can either walk, drive your motorbike up or arrange a car to drive you to the top. I walked and it was easy to navigate, you just had to follow the road to the top. I think I used 15 or 20 minutes. I met some friendly people at the top, they camped here to hunt some clouds as well. Time to head back to Wi-Fi and Sky because we're leaving Dalat today and we're heading for Nyachang next. Thanks for watching, see you next time.